Hi, my name is Dave Jarvanen, and this is Mosaic Arts Online. In this online course, I will be teaching organic abstract mosaic methods. Abstract art, in general, uses a visual language of shape, form, color, and line to create a composition. This online course, Organic Abstract, is designed to open the senses so that we can make choices in materials that reflect a relationship with the materials used as well as the piece as a whole. So many times we react to situations or create our art with emotion, such as I like, I want. While that may get things done and make for some great work, it doesn't help the beginner or the intermediate to learn and often leads to frustration. I created this online course to facilitate using the senses, sight, touch, intuition, to create and understand the relationships between the materials used and a nod to the empty or negative spaces remaining. By focusing on movement, color, and texture, we will learn to create flow that will guide the viewer. And it may sound mysterious, but by breaking it down into processes and steps, this online course is very approachable and results can be magical. In front of me are some different samples of this technique. And in this online course, I will be creating an organic abstract using the simple eight x eight frame. And here are a few of the materials and tools necessary to create the piece and there will be a downloadable PDF that is a full list of all the tools, materials, resources for this online course. So, let's get started. Oh my god, this is so exciting. You're the first interview I've ever done. Okay. So, David, I'm so excited you came here to do Mosaic Arts Online. This is really awesome. I think you have a really cool, unique method here to share with everyone, and I think you're just going to have a lot to give and I really love um, what you have here. So, but I wanted to ask you, how did you get started in mosaics? Well, thank you for inviting me for You're one welcome. thing. Um, I came to mosaics through clay artists from my background as a tile contractor and I helped them install their murals and in trade I got to go play in the clay studio and then she taught mosaic workshops and I volunteered for a couple of years so you got to do your time mm -hmm. and uh, worked with her and then she moved and I just took over her classes and built them from there and so I'm kind of self-taught um, more on a technical bent than an artistic bent but I've been really moving into more artistic and and more fun things once I learn about the materials more um, but really come from a technical background so um, that's how I like to present my workshops. That's awesome. Technical is so important. We yes. all love to make art, but as long as we understand the laws, we can break the rules. Yes. But the technical is so important, so it's really good to learn them from people that have years and years of certified experience, too, because yes. you're a tile contractor. Right. So having that certification and learning from someone like you about materials is huge. And what made you decide to design this course? What, what brought you to this? I needed to come up with a way to free up my crea creative process because mm -hmm. I was very compartmentalized from my tile background mm -hmm. and um, attending SAMA and stuff for a number of years. Society of American Mosaic Artists. Yeah. Um, always in the vendor marketplace or something. I never had a chance to participate. Right. And, um, and there were certain instructors that had things I wanted. So I just made it a mission to self-teach myself some movement and I had a really hard time with that. And so the wire came into play with that and that gave me my movement and then I went for texture and everything after that and it was mostly the wire and just because I was so clunky I needed something to to do that for me I can do it now with materials but when I was beginning I really needed that wire to help me move and it it was very helpful and you figured it out that's not something you learned from another artist right Correct. the wire so right. that's pretty awesome that yeah. it's in you know intuition kind of got you to that place too and what would you like to tell people that they would benefit from taking your course? Well, mostly I'd like to take away to be confidence. Um, confidence in choosing your materials, confidence in designing and just getting, working from fullness instead of really tight areas in your life, just kind of let it go. And um, just understand that mistakes aren't mistakes. So just move forward. Practice your art. This is designed to create the or free up the decision making process, I think, for the most part, so that you're confident again mm -hmm. in, in your choices. And I really think that's what it comes down to is getting confident in your choices. 
So if someone chooses to take this course, can they choose their own materials and they don't have to follow exactly what you've used, but this is just a suggestion, correct? Yes, correct. Okay. And that's a very good question, actually, because my very first one that I learned on that's not here right now was made with tile and rocks and shells and, and different things, really bulky, big items. Um, and then I worked refined as I learned more about materials. I just kind of refined it down. Um, and those aren't available all the time. So this stuff is more approachable and gettable. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, do what you like, work with the materials you like, but you understand this process to help open up creating with those materials. That's what I would say. Oh, that's awesome. Well, this is the piece that David creates in this online course. But like he said, you can use any materials that you can find or what works for you. And you'll have the PDF with the full list. So thank you so much for coming here and doing uh, Mosaic Artana. I think we look forward to seeing more videos from you in the I future. Hope so. I hope so. All right. Enjoy.